Hello Glass Industry, it's Mark from Glass Open Book and today we will talk about this. The glass. Specifically about glass recycling. As the zero emissions day is approaching, it's a good idea not only to talk about sustainability, but also draw our attention to the topic of glass recycling and the problems that exist. In fact, the problem of poor glass recycling is still relevant to this day even for well-developed countries. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the countries that have significantly progressed in glass recycling, how they achieved that, and how others can make glass recycling actually work. Obviously, we'll not analyze all the states, but instead we will focus on those that already have some experience in this matter. Yes. I mean the European Union and the United States of America. After watching this video, you will learn how these states are dealing with glass waste, compare their approaches and decide which of glass recycling models is the best and what should be done to get the desired 90% recycling rate. But first, let's finally make it clear. Does it make sense to recycle glass? And I guess you already know the answer. Yes, it does. Glass is a fully recyclable material which can be recycled endlessly without quality losses. Furthermore, it makes even more sense when we take a look at the numbers. The energy consumption decreases by 3% when 10% of natural materials are being replaced with a collet. This consequently is leading to the decrease in carbon dioxide emissions. However, the effectiveness of glass recycling heavily depends on glass color separation, and here we have some challenges. Glass recycling is economically viable only with efficient separate collection systems. That is why there is a significant gap between the European and American glass recycling rates. Glass recycling in the United States. Americans dispose of over 10 million tons of glass annually, and about two-thirds of it ends up being in the trash. Therefore, only around 33% of glass waste is recycled. Spoiler alert! Europe has about 75% recycle rate on average. Why is it so low? As it has been told earlier, glass recycling only works when it's economically viable. Glassmaking companies are only willing to pay for clean and furnace-ready processed collet, something that is hard to find in the US. The reason for that is simple. Americans are primarily using single-stream waste collection. This means that recycling waste bins are being filled with all sorts of things apart from glass, such as paper, steel, aluminium. In order to get a valuable and clean glass collet, all this waste should go through a multi-step processing, which increases cost. Why don't Americans go for the multi-stream recycling, you may ask? This type of collection requires a high level of consumer education and considerably more expensive, than single stream collection. Today, it is much cheaper to buy land to trash glass than to invest into education, waste sorting infrastructure and legislation. Furthermore, the vast territory of the United States makes transportation of glass waste an expensive process, as glass is generally quite heavy and heavy duty trucks have to deliver a relatively small amount of glass on long distances, which obviously doesn't sound very reasonable. Glass recycling in Europe. A place where things with recycling are going much better is Europe. One of the key reasons for that is the limited land space compared to the US. This motivated Europeans to figure out how to make trash and glass more expensive than recycling. And they succeeded. Today, an average recycling rate in Europe is around 75%, and some countries such as Sweden, Belgium, and Slovenia where they have efficient separate collection systems, perform best and achieve recycling rate of about 95%. Part of the success is the culture and social norm of recycling. Europeans have been recycling for many years. The first practices took place in the 80s, and the citizens, especially the children, had been well educated and grew up with the habit of recycling and waste separation. Then the necessary infrastructure is provided, a dense network of bottle banks and vending machines in the supermarkets. The glass is collected in separate banks according to the color, making colored processing cheap and easy. 
decades of experience have proven that the banks should be installed in the right places, such as parks, shopping centers, residential establishments, so that bringing glass there would not be a problem for the citizens. The system of deposits per bottle, which is called Fund in Germany, also works perfectly fine and motivates citizens to return the glass containers back for recycling. It requires customers to pay for each glass container approximately 10 cents per bottle and get the deposit back as they bring the containers back to the vending machine at the closest supermarket. This practice has proven to work brilliantly in almost all European states. After considering two different approaches, we can draw the conclusion which one is more efficient and what essential steps should be done to make glass recycling a profitable sector of the glass industry. If some states manage to reach that 95% recycling rate benchmark, presumably everyone can take that experience and implement in their countries. And what's even more importantly, the success in glass recycling heavily depends on the businesses and we want to persuade them to take essential steps towards a brighter and more sustainable future. Alright, that's been it. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in our next videos.